What's up guys, x for x Today I got a video showing you how you can level up your weapons pretty quickly here in Zombies after the Season 1 Reloaded patch. So if we take a look down here at the time of this recording, it is 8.50pm, February 4, 2024. So yes, this is working after the Season 1 Reloaded patch. So guys, before we hop into this video, there's a couple things I want to go over with that need to be addressed. So there is a soft level cap that exists in Zombies. I'm sure you guys have seen this or might be aware of this already. So the soft cap is around 12 to 15 levels. And from the information that I have gathered and tested myself, it's between 12 to 15 levels collectively as a whole. So it doesn't matter if you're using one or more weapons, as soon as you hit 12 to 15 weapon levels combined or on a single weapon, your progressive rates are going to slow down to dog shit and a lack of better words. So there is a way around that though, however, and I want to give a big shout out to Glitching Queen as I found this information out through her. I didn't know this existed, but there is a way to actually do a soft cap reset by going into the Dr. Jansen X fill. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video. So that's the first thing that I wanted to get out of the way. And the second thing that needs to be addressed guys is Tombstone. So there's a caveat with Tombstone. There's two separate methods in which you can use Tombstone in this glitch. The first method is going into the game and collecting everything out of your Tombstone, getting your 12 to 15 weapon levels, and then x filling normally in which you would keep your Tombstone and then rinse and repeat it that way. The second method is grabbing your Tombstone, getting your 12 to 15 weapon levels, and then performing the soft cap reset glitch in which we're gonna be teleporting over to the Dr. Jansen mission. However, when we teleport to the Dr. Jensen mission, you are going to lose your tombstone from the map. So you're going to have to have another tombstone perk before we load into the Dr. Jensen x -Fill. In this video though, guys, I am going to be showing you how to reset your tombstone while also using the soft cap reset. All right, guys, with all that out of the way, if we take a look down here where we have a level eight weapon and a level one weapon. So I'm going to be showing you how many levels we get between both of these weapons. And then also if we are going to be using the tombstone and also the soft cap reset in the same game, I recommend loading in with the tombstone schematic i would recommend also loading up your bag with a speed cola schematic as the speed cola schematic is going to help us reload faster and that's just going to help us get kills a lot faster as well so i would recommend grabbing that as well and then load in with whatever else you want your crystals your ether tools whatever it is that you would like to grab go ahead and load into the game with those as well all right guys so as you see we are loading into the game here and our tombstone is on the map so i'm going to go over there and click my tombstone and i will meet you guys over there let's go ahead and grab everything out of our tombstone here All right, make sure the tombstone crumbles. Now that we have collected our tombstone, again, you don't have to have tombstone to do this glitch. This is just for those that are collecting their tombstone. I am going to be showing you how to do it with tombstone as well. We want to head to any of the Outlast contracts on the map. I personally recommend going to any tier one Outlast contract, as those are going to be the easiest because the zombies are going to be a lot weaker compared to tier two or tier three. Now, if you want special zombie kills, though, if you're like doing some type of like camo leveling or uh, camo challenges, you can go like tier two. Those will spawn in like the manglers, mimics, and the uh, disciples. However, in this video, we're just really focusing on how to level up our weapons pretty quick. So we're just going to be sticking with tier one. So grab any tier one outlast contract. And then we're just going to head over to where the location is. And so all we want to do from this point, guys, is we want to watch the uh, progress bar there to the left of the screen. And we want to cancel this contract around 95 to 97%. If you get up to like 98%, sometimes it'll actually complete when you go to cancel it. So I recommend just trying to stick between 95 to 97% when you go in to cancel it. If you guys are playing with your friends or some randoms, just make sure every one of you guys cancels the contract before it reaches 100%. So I'm going to actually be showing you a couple different areas with the Outlast contracts just to give you a general idea. All right, so we're at 95, 96. Go ahead and cancel. As you see, we canceled at 97 there. Now, what this is going to do for us, guys, is um, we're going to actually have an infinite number of zombies spawning in here. They're not going to stop spawning as you see. The contract's been canceled, but the zombies are going to just infinitely spawn here. So this is a perfect way to level up all your weapons pretty quick. Also, it should be noted too, guys, if you pop a double XP token, you're going to get levels a lot quicker, obviously, because it's double weapon XP. 
But I would recommend actually having one of those popped as well. I actually almost forgot to tell you guys that part. So I do apologize for popping it so late. Again, guys, if you grab the PHD flopper, it's gonna make this a little easier as well. As you see, we're just standing in the dog pile. We're not taking any damage. This helps us out a lot as well. Uh, as you see, we just went up a whole level in like the last 30 seconds. So guys, while you're using this glitch, you are able to step out of the building. However, I would not recommend going too far from the building as it will cancel out the contract here. But you are able to like, there's some locations where they'll have like ammo caches like right outside. You can go out and grab them and it's not gonna affect the glitch. Just make sure you're not going too far because if you go too far, it is going to cancel out the glitch. Uh, as you guys see, we're ranking up our gun pretty quick. We're at level 17 now on it. All right, level 18. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and grab another contract. I just want to show you some other locations really quick. This, uh, this location here, guys, is actually one of my favorite locations. There's a really simple spot we can sit in here. We're going to be up here in this corner, and all the zombies are going to come from right in front of you. So this is one of the spots I was talking about earlier where they're just going to come from in front of you here. Also, this gives me big Shadows of Evil vibes, so I absolutely love it. As you see, they got the little boxing arena, so that's why I makes me think of Shadows of Evil. And so what I like to do, guys, is I like to just focus on one weapon. And then once I hit between the, like, 12 to 15 levels on that weapon, I'll start to see that my weapon progression levels are, like, slowing down drastically. So then I know it's time for me to go ahead and head over to the Dr. Jansen Xville location. So we can go ahead and do that soft cap reset. Again, big shout out to Glitching Queen as I found out the soft cap reset method from her. All right guys, as you see, we're getting close to our percentage. So we wanna go ahead and cancel. Also, I would like to mention that you can actually use the meal kit glitch as well on top of all these glitches. So you could go in here and be grinding out three weapons at one time as well. Uh, I do actually have footage of me doing that from earlier today, so I will drop a little clip of that as well. If you're interested in learning how to do the meal kit glitch, I do have a video on how to do that. I'll drop that down in the uh, description for you guys. All right, guys, so now we're going to head here to the Dr. Jensen Xville. This is going to be how we reset the weapon XP cap. So again, before we come here, if you're going to be doing the tombstone method as well, make sure you grab another tombstone soda before you come here. That way you can go ahead and reset your tombstone with whatever you have in your rucksack. And if you're not using tombstone, that's okay. You don't need tombstone. But I would also recommend grabbing any perks that you want to help you out with this because this is technically going from a tier one to a tier two outlast, basically. Even though this isn't an outlast, the zone we're going to is gonna be tier two. So I would recommend having like your jug, speed call, a quick revive. And then again, the PhD flopper, as that's going to make us immune to the Hellhound's Flame. And then now we're going to be focusing on this tack. The tack was level one when we loaded into the game. So now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you how the XP has just reset once we load into this part of the map. Also, guys, I would like to mention that you are able to use the meal kit glitch while doing all of this. If you do the meal kit glitch loading into the Dr. Jansen, you'll have it. But if you do the meal kit glitch before we load into Dr. Jansen, it'll take the third gun away. Okay, right, so once we get here, all we want to do is just do the mission like normally until we get to the end of part of the mission, which is going to be us on the roof of Dr. Jansen. All right, guys, so this is exactly where we want to be. The chopper's up here ready for us to go. But instead of us getting on, we're just going to go ahead and stay here. And this is going to give us an infinite number of zombies to go ahead and farm and get all those levels up. Also, keep an eye on your double XP token that you pop because at this point, your double XP token might have ran out because this resets the timer all the way up to like a whole nother like 45 minutes or something like that when we load in here. So do keep an eye on that as well as you might need to go ahead and pop another double XP token. As you see, we've already went up four levels. As you guys see, this is actually really the perfect location here. All the zombies spawn right in front of me. All the cats are right in front of me. I'm not getting hit from behind or anything. I'm not getting any guts thrown at me. Like this is probably the chillest spot you can have here while doing this. So I really recommend just hopping right over to this ladder here. Make sure you crouch though, as again, you can get sniped from other AI soldiers. But ever since I crouched, I haven't had any issues getting sniped, so. All right, guys, I have noticed my XP rates have slowed down significantly. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up your tombstone. 
I would recommend once you notice you're not getting levels as fast anymore to go ahead and just exit out of here by either getting on the chopper if you're not doing anything tombstone related and then if you are doing anything tombstone related to go ahead and set up your tombstone which is what I'm showing you how to do right now. We want to make sure we don't have any self revives equipped so as you see I don't have any self revives equipped and as you see I'm also not in a squad. If you're in a squad you're going to want to hold up on the d-pad and hold down to leave squad because if you're in a squad you're not going to be able to do your tombstone so make sure you leave the squad before you do this. All right that being said guys we're just going to go ahead and go down now. And then we're just going to give up. We're going to be eliminated here at this screen. And then we're just going to wait for it to go and show us that we can leave the game. All right, so we're back to our lobby. And as you guys see, we went from level one up to what did we get to on this? So as you guys just saw, we went from level 1 to 11 on our weapon that we used at the Dr. Jansen x -Fill. However, it did not show the first weapon that we used on the base map of zombies, and that's because it creates a separate after-action report. So we would have had the one for the first weapon that we done if we did not go to the Dr. Jansen x -Fill. But because we went to the Dr. Jensen x -Fill, and because we only used our second weapon while there, it only showed for the second weapon. If we come over here, we're going to check it out. We got to level 18, so we did max it out from whatever level it was at the beginning of this. Uh, I will add a note to what level we were when we start this because I'm in the middle of recording and can't remember what level we were at at the beginning of this recording. I think level eight or nine. All right, guys, we are loading back into the game. I actually almost forgot to show you where you go pick your tombstone up. All right, guys, and as you see, we have arrived to my tombstone here. It's so funny, it spawns here in the graveyard at the church. I just think that's so funny. Uh, it's going to be for those interested it's going to be the borderline hi3 as you see on the map here but it's always going to spawn somewhere here in the cemetery area uh mine usually spawns right next to this well here from the testing that i've done yeah that's all there is too guys so we'll go ahead and collect everything out of here and that's all there is to this video if you found it insightful or helpful at all please consider leaving a like and a sub as this one took me a long time to record and edit for you guys and we're almost at a thousand subs which is super exciting as a small time youtuber you guys know super excited to hit the 1000 subs so yeah if you guys found it helpful or anything please consider leaving that like and that sub and we will catch you on the next zombie video as always peace and prosper much love We'll be seeing you on the next one. Bye.